Welcome back to Educator.com. We're now going to look at a couple more examples to try and find the mean and variance for a combination of independent random variables. In the following situation, I have three random variables, x1, x2, and x3. Their means are 2, negative 1, and 4, and the variances are 4, 6, and 8, respectively. What I want to find are the mean and variance of this combination. So for the first one, I have the expected value of 3 times x1 plus 4 times x2 minus 6 times x3. Well, I could bring out the coefficients. So this is 3 times the expected value of x1 plus 4 times the expected value of x2 minus 6 times the expected value of x3. OK, well, this is 3 times 2 plus 4 times negative 1 minus 6 times 4. So I get 6 minus 4 minus 24. And this should give me negative 22 for the mean. And now we do this for the variance. 3x1 plus 4x2 minus 6x3. Now, what happens with the variance is that when I bring out that coefficient, it becomes squared. So I have 3 squared times the variance of x1 plus 4 squared times the variance of x2 plus negative 6 squared times the variance of x3. This gives me 9 times 4 plus 16 times 6 plus 36 times 8. So this gives me 36 here. 16 times 6, just in case you don't know, carry that. That becomes 96. And then 36 times 8, 8, 4, that gives us 288. And so when we add these up, I get 36 plus 96, that's 132 plus 288. So this gives me, this should give me 0, 2, and 4. So we have a variance of 420.